please welcome my guest at this time, the man who will challenge for the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship at Absolute Justice, yeah. the winner yeah. of the Johnny yeah. Weaver yeah. Cup, yeah. Nick yeah. Richards! Nick, it's been a long, strange trip to get to this moment right here where you are coming up on the two biggest matches of your career within a 30-day period. Right here on Saturday night, June the 3rd, you team with your biggest inspiration in this sport, Tommy Dreamer, to face the Dawson brothers. And right here at Absolute Justice, you face the Mid-Atlantic champion, Trevor Lee. We go way back. We know each other very, very well. I've got to ask how you're feeling, what you're thinking, heading into the two biggest matches of your career so close together. As I just told you, Two of the biggest matches in my career are in June, except they are very, very different to me. Because yes, Tommy Dreamer is someone I have idolized since day one of stepping in here. And win, lose, or draw in that match, honestly, it will be one of the best nights I've ever had in my career, simply because I will be in the ring with him. That is not the case for absolute justice. I cannot be satisfied with just win, lose, or draw. I have not denied, and you cannot deny, that Trevor Lee is the man. And after absolute justice, Trevor Lee will continue to be the man, but he is going to have to do it without the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight title. I don't know if you people think I can't read all your heads. I don't know if you guys no, I don't know how long you guys have been here, but honestly, it is the projection that Trevor Lee may have and always will be, be better than me. But that's not the answer I'm looking for. The answer I'm looking for comes on absolute justice that I just need to know if even just for one night, can Nick Richards be better than Trevor Lee? And I answer that with yes! yes. Trevor Lee is the king of preparation. Time in the gym. I know you. I've managed you. You don't prepare. You like to just come out here and wing it. Is that to your advantage or your disadvantage against Trevor Lee? Honestly, I don't think about that. I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking about absolute. Shut up. It's not your time, sir. It's not your time, sir. Oh, no. Oh, I want to hear what number one jackass has to say. I won't hit you, don't worry. I won't hit you. If he goes over the line, cut that one off, too. That's right. I know you like to cut my mic. What in the hell did I just hear? New champ. You? You are facing Trevor Lee at absolute justice for the Mid Atlantic Heavyweight Championship. Did I hear that? Why all of a sudden did you crawl out of that cardboard box you live in and think that you deserve to be a top guy and wrestle for that title? A title that should be mine, by the way. Why? Why? Why do you wait so long to cash in your shot? Do you not believe in yourself? I mean, you've had it for so long. We almost had a Jimmy Harris memorial tournament for it. Do you just not believe in yourself, kid? You guys believe in me, right? Because I know you. I 
know what makes you tick. I know that deep inside you know that you can't compare to guys like me, guys like Trevor. You don't believe in yourself. We do. I'll, I, I hate to break it to you. I sure as hell don't believe it. I'm pretty sure these guys have given up on you. And from the looks of it. And from the looks of it, God has given up on you as well. So I've got one thing to ask, sir. Why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you do all of these guys? So I can go on to absolute justice and beat Trevor like I did at Battle Cave. How about this? Oh, Instead of whatever it was you just said, how about later on tonight, you take that $20 suit off, strap some gear on, and if you really think you're better than me, if you really think that you're more ready than me, I know that you will face me tonight. And if you win, you can have my talent shot. <laughs> you're on, pal.